What, you doing drugs? Ben would like to join a group of kids, but they reject him because he won't drink alcohol or smoke marijuana. You shouldn't be drinking that. I mean, it's bad for you. What do you know, chicken? A mysterious character named Cosmo comes to the rescue and takes Ben up in his magic fate elevator. Ben finds himself in the Dungeon of Ignorance, where he meets booze and pot. They try to lead him astray with false information about drugs. Thanks to the knowledge that his magic headband gives him, Ben is able to keep out of danger. But when Pot steals the headband, Ben finds himself hanging over the edge of a deadly snake pit. While Booze and Pot are fighting over the headband, Ben manages to get it back, only to find himself lost in a dense fog. Just follow my directions. He then comes face to face with even more dangerous drugs, cocaine, and heroin. Finally, Ben succeeds in escaping back to reality. Armed with his newfound knowledge, he is able to tell the gang the truth about what drugs really do to you. Pot is stuffed with hundreds of dangerous chemicals, such as carbon monoxide. Ben now has the correct knowledge and facts about drugs. What he needs next are the right attitudes and perceptions. Hey, Rob. Hey, what's up? Hi, what's what you nice. guys stuff? Oh, yeah? Let's see. Take a look. Oh, oh right, right. Rob. Right. Right. Way to go, big guy. Yo, turn the music up, sir. a second chance to be cool. She has to grow up and stop being a baby. No, thanks. I... So what do you know about drugs? Everybody drinks and smokes. Yeah, and look at us. We're cool. Yeah, and it's fun, Ben. Don't you want to have fun? Sure. I also know what drugs can do. All the really neat guys drink and smoke and do drugs. You want to be like them? You'll never be one of the gang. You're just a loser. All right, just one beer. Look, look I gotta go return these tapes. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right. What, a, right. what a loser! Cosmo, I knew it was you. Looks as if you need to take another ride, Ben. and perceptions. Mind the doors, please. What do I have to do this time? Well, you already have the knowledge. 
This time you'll also need the vision. What do I need these for? To help you see through the land of illusion. Meet you on the other side. Hey, guy. Check this out. You like to have fun? Yeah. Hey, you've come to the right place. <laughs> Follow me. Here. Now, this is the very best seat in the house. Make yourself comfortable. Just sit back and enjoy. What'll it be? Whiskey, vodka, gin? Um, uh, isn't this bad for you? I mean, there's a lot of alcohol in that stuff. Well, so try some wine or beer. They haven't got much alcohol. You'll be wanting a joint as well. This is the very best pot you can get. Why, you'd be potty not to try some. <laughs> and you can't refuse our draft beer. It's a gas. Huh. I'm underage. It's against the law. <laughs> oh, who cares about the silly law? You like everybody else? They all drink and smoke. Well, uh, I'll go draw some more beer. Uh, no, <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, no, I'll do it. You don't really want to be the odd one out, do you, when everyone else is doing drugs? OK, but only one glass. Tipsy time. Everybody's doing it. Only about five out of a hundred twelve year old kids experiment with alcohol and marijuana. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? Most kids don't do drugs. Well, that's nonsense. Just look around. Can you see anyone who isn't smoking or drinking? Well, no. So? Looking kid. Put yourself in my hands. I'll turn you into a champion weightlifter. Oh no. Put 
Get yourself in my hands. You get to be Mr. Universe. Didn't I just see you in that bar back there? Hey, what were you guys trying to do to me back there? All that garbage about everybody drinks and smokes? Yeah, well, that place was for losers. Come with me. Do yourself a favor. This is the place for the beautiful people. Handsomest men. And the prettiest women. Where you go, Lillian? You've come a long distance, honey. Smoke? Some joints in here, too. That'll put hair on your chest. You like to put cancer in my lungs. Don't you believe it? Well, Lillian Long's just run a marathon. Mountain Man's been on that horse for a week. Anyway, this is a low tar joint. It'll go nicely with a light beer. All beer is packed with calories. If you drink enough, it makes you fat and ugly. It gives you a beer belt. Oh, yeah? Wouldn't you like to look like that? Yeah. Yeah, they do look pretty good. I'm sure it would. What are you waiting for? Drinking, smoking, and drinking with health and good looks is a standard advertising technique. What are you talking about now? None of this can be true. But it must be. After all, seeing is believing. Can you see now? <laughs> Just look down at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> but this is no illusion. <laughs> I told you, <coughs> this is a low tar joint. <laughs> and I, I told you, you'd be a weightlifter. We'll try these. Stick around! Ben knows all about the bad effects of drugs, but he doesn't know how to defend himself against the various techniques people use to get you to drink and smoke. Cosmo comes to his aid with his magic fate elevator and takes Ben to the land of illusion, where booze and pot use all sorts of tricks to try to fool Ben into doing drugs. Thanks to his magic glasses, Ben is able to see through all the illusions and keep out of trouble. But then booze and pot stick him down in a pool of tar. was sent to take a toke or two. 
reservations for one. Why can't you be a man? Here's the chance of your life to step into the sun. Success in life is another favorite advertising trick. single leading cause of death among teenagers. You kill kids, Mr. Booze. That's what you do. You kill kids in car crashes. No. <coughs> now, don't blame Pat for those accidents, Ben. And that's for cocaine, eh, man? Now, come on. I mean, look, well, what can I say? I mean, it's like I was furious to drive the snow. <laughs> Heroin is innocent as well. I wouldn't. Stick it to you, Ben. Taking marijuana or cocaine or heroin also causes automobile accidents. You all killed kids. The whole lot of you. Yeah, but now we can never stand in your way of getting to the top. Drug abuse is one of the major reasons why more and more students are dropping out of school. <clears throat> Thanks to drugs like you, thousands of kids never even finish school, let alone get to the top. Yeah, but, but, but... Don't you want to be a rock star, old pal? Yeah. We, we never seem to do them much harm. Drugs are one of the leading causes of accidental death among music and film stars. Thanks to you, Mr. Booze and Ms. Pot and your friends like cocaine and heroin. The list of stars that have been killed by drugs just goes on and on. Cheer up, 
there. You've won the day. You've no illusions now. Come down with me. And help your friends to see. Let us in there again. Yeah, say call the cops next time. That old geek? Just because we had a few joints and some beer. Well, it is illegal, you know, drinking when you're underage. So what? Who cares? Hey, what's the matter with you, Tony? You're starting to sound like that weird Ben. Yeah, you going soft on us or something? Hey, where'd Ben go anyway? Who cares? You ever saw him leave the store? There he is. Hey, Ben, where were you? Hey, is that the latest fad, walking around in your socks? Why does everything have to be a fad with you? Something you saw on TV or a magazine. Why are you all such copycatters? Hey, we're not copycatters. No? Well, then how come you all believe the same ads about the beautiful people smoking and drinking? Because that's what the beautiful people do, dummy. Yeah. Things aren't always what they seem. What do you mean? Well, most liquor and tobacco ads are like your reflection in the mirror. What? Everything's back to front. If you hold your right hand up, your mirror image holds its left hand up. It's the same with the images they use to get you to smoke and drink. They usually leave the opposite of the truth. If an ad shows everybody drinking a certain sort of beer, it's a good bet that really quite few people actually drink it. If an ad has a picture of great looking people beside a bottle of liquor, they do that because they don't want you to know that if you drink enough of this stuff, you can get ugly and sick. When you see cigarette packets stuck over beauty shots of nature with everything looking all clean and fresh, that's because they want you to forget that the smoke from a cigarette or joint is dirty and smelly. It's the same with ads that show thirsty people grabbing for a long, cool glass of beer. It's another flip of the truth. Alcohol doesn't quench your thirst. It dries you out and makes you even more thirsty. And the ads that show rich and famous people with expensive bottles of liquor. That's another switch around. Lots of people who get to the top don't smoke or drink at all. And if you really spent all your money on booze, you'd most likely end up as a bum on Skid Row. And watch out for those ads to compare things and say that this cigarette has got less tar than that one or there's less alcohol in wine and beer than in hard liquor. This is another way of fooling you. If you smoke enough of anything, you'll suck up enough tar and other guck to blow your lungs away. And the idea that there's less alcohol in wine and beer than in hard liquor is also a put on. Booze is booze. A regular sized drink contains about half an ounce of pure alcohol. It doesn't matter whether it's beer, wine, a cocktail, or a shot glass of whiskey. It's all the same. Once you can see through all these gimmicks, the join the crowd technique, health and beauty, clean and fresh, thirst quenching, rich and famous, comparison, then all the ads for drinking and smoking just fall apart and become nothing but a pile of garbage. I think you're right. You know a lot about this stuff. You're not fooled by those dumb ads. 
What are you gonna do? Maybe I'll stop using drugs. What are you two talking about? Oh, nothing. Come back over here. Hey, what do you guys want? Let's join the nurse? Get the gang together. There ain't no reason for us to hang around here. Let's ditch these dumb balls. So, Ben, how did you lose your shoes? Well, that's kind of a long story. But who needs shoes? I can still run faster than you. Does this mean Tony's out of a gang? Are you gonna put up with this, Kevin? Who needs those dipsticks? Anyways, they'll come back begging. You just wait and see.